Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a quick run out to Jordan Lake here in North Carolina to catch some white perch, aka catfish candy. Uh, it's one of my favorite baits to use for blue catfish that I like to catch in the winter months. Um, this will just be a quick video, so I'll show you the setup I use and we'll get out in the water and show you how I work the, um, the rig. Um, basic setup is a double drop. Um, rig here got a little swivel and then uh, probably about two and a half to three feet of maybe eight to ten pound monofilament or fluorocarbon got two dropper loops with probably a size six to eight crappy hook you can use the uh, cheapy ones from Walmart they work well the, like the gold ones um, I really like these right now I've got some gamakatsu crappie hooks on there size uh, eight I like them because they're super sharp. Hopefully you can see them okay. So they're on little dropper loops that are basically just a double uh, overhand knot that makes those droppers and it kind of gets the bait to move around a little bit. They work great for minnows too. And then just at the bottom here, a little snap swivel allows me to put a weight on there, easily take it off so it's not banging around when I'm getting out to my spot. And for the weight, I use a 3 8 ounce, um, I guess a dipsy swivel sinker, whatever you want to call them, bell, teardrop, whatever. I buy them in bulk on eBay, uh, usually 20 or 50 at a time. And uh, basically I just find uh, spots where all the perch are located. They, they're going to be on the bottom this time of year, usually around deeper water. And um, jig it up and down just a little bit off the bottom. They tend to be very aggressive fish, a lot like brim or bluegills, whatever you call them. And a lot of times you'll get bites from multiple fish and it's uh, possible to fill up a uh, cooler pretty quickly. Um, I recommend probably about two, two perch per hour if you're catfishing. Usually I'll put on a big headpiece and then a smaller uh, tailpiece. Um, so for a six to eight hour trip, you're looking at maybe 12 to 15 baits uh, total. So. That's it. I'm going to get out on the water and I'll show you some action. We'll get a couple fish on film and call it a day. Thanks. All right, finally launched and on our way to catch some bait. Uh, on Jordan Lake, I like to fish and launch out of Seaforth a lot uh, and fish around the 64 Bridge. It's a pretty popular spot. I think that's where all the tourists from out of state like to fish, normally for crappy. So some days, especially nice days in the winter, can be pretty tight and I call it combat fishing um, but basically I like to fish around the channels there and you'll get these large schools of perch and sometimes crappy that hang out on or near the bottom and uh, with the double drop rig I will essentially just bounce it or lift it off the bottom very slowly and a lot of times that's enough movement to attract the fish and uh, the perch bite pretty aggressively and I'll catch them mostly on red worms which is my preferred bait for them because they will tear them up but a single worm is good for multiple fish if you use minnows they kill the minnows pretty quickly and everything seems to be attracted to them including uh, catfish which you don't really want on your crappy rods um, anyway that's kind of what we're doing and I'll show you what it looks like once we're on our spot and catching fish and hopefully next time if you're trying to catch perch for dinner or for bait uh, you can use these techniques and load up your own cooler so basically what i'm doing is i'm just bouncing it very very slowly and you'll feel a tap 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 when the perch are there just kind of watch your rod tip and you set that set it uh, quickly so especially so they don't uh, swallow the hook now unless they're really hot in one spot I'll move around a little bit till I find an active group of them biting there we go Here's the first one Not very big. 
Sometimes with jumbos, this is maybe five or six inches. You can get two or maybe three baits out of it, depending on the size. All right, we're going for about 30 today. Got to catch bait for myself and Jess for this weekend. Well, that's, uh, that's about it for today. Obviously, it's a lot easier once you find a pile of them and you basically just hit them on the head and pull them up. Uh, I'm going to keep them on ice for the next two days and we'll fish a long day on Saturday. It's supposed to be nice weather, so hopefully get out there and get some good catfish, good footage of, of the fish on live scope. It's pretty interesting to see the perch come up after the worms uh, at one point it looks like they came almost 15 feet or so off the bottom to pursue it which is pretty amazing to me they just seem to get frenzied sometimes and and they're really easy to catch when you can find them like that so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you find what I'm doing helpful please hit that like button and subscribe and if you have any questions or you want to see maybe how I tie the rigs or anything else just let me know thanks and see you next time